All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be mounting the beadlock wheels to the 37 inch KO2s. All right, so here they are. They are the KMC Machete 17 by nine, negative 38 offset. This will help push the wheel out further on the truck and fill out some of that wheel well gap that I have right now. I think it'll look really good. They are a true beadlock type wheel. So that means the rim and the front lip are removable and this pinches the uh, outside bead of the tire, allowing you to air down super low when off-roading and uh, not risking deep beating the tire. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these here. So these are 37 inch BF Goodrich KO2s. Uh, I have the 35s on right now. Those come stock on the Raptor. These are a bit larger. The, the tread is the same and I'm really happy with how the truck rides on this current set. So I don't wanna go with too aggressive of a tire. I don't want the rumble and all the noise. So uh, this works out just fine. All right, some tools you're gonna need. Soapy water to seat the tire bead, uh, torque wrench, rubber mallet or dead blow, valve stem installation tool, tire gauge, some anti-seize for the hardware. And then for mine, I need an eight mil Allen socket on a impact. Uh, all the valve stems you're gonna need, hardware and the TPMS sensors. Just have those ready. That's pretty much all you need to do the install. That was a lot harder than it seemed. Next time, bring a friend. Oh. Just got the tires loaded up. I'm gonna try to find a shop that'll balance these things. Not a lot of shops will touch beadlock wheels. A uh, little disclaimer, uh, beadlock wheels are not street legal, DOT approved in pretty much every state in the United States. So, But if you find a shop that'll balance them, I know plenty of people that ride daily on beadlocks, freeway miles on their daily driver are just fine. You just have to maintain the tire pressure and then uh, make sure that all the bolts are properly torqued uh, at certain intervals. I'm gonna keep tabs on mine monthly, probably the first couple weeks, just make sure nothing moves. But uh, other than that, they're pretty good for road use. All right, guys, we're getting ready to mount the new 37 inch uh, wheels and tires. Uh, since they are a little larger than our factory size, we're gonna have some rubbing issues. We got uh, clearance out the wheel well a bit. This brace here needs to get pried off and removed. That's just glued on and then we will be slicing the pinch welds here in the wheel well and then bending them in towards the frame with uh with a sledgehammer so back here this should be all we need just this extra inch hoping to save that mounting point i had a little issue with the abs sensor uh, i got cut off i had it in the wrong location and the wheel just ended up slicing it so we'll be replacing that with the raptor unit i was trying to salvage the, st the stock f-151 but we'll replace it other than that, we'll check all the bolts, make sure everything's torqued down to spec still, nothing moved. And then we'll also be replacing the stock caliper with a powder coated one. All right, so as you can see, that should give us the space we need. Just had to kind of pie cut the wheel well uh, pinch weld and hammer it back. It does take quite a bit of effort, but 
we freed up about an inch, inch and a half, I'd say. Alright guys, the wheels and tires are mounted. Overall, it really did the job of uh, filling in the fender wells. Wheels stick out perfect. Again, this is a negative 38 offset on the 17 by 9. Alright guys, uh, next step is to uh, paint the truck and tighten up some loose ends and that's pretty much it on this build. So if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to hit the like button and...